The words we hear from the first reading today from the Book of Wisdom about the wicked trying to ensnare and bring down the just, so many of the things that are said there are going to be said on Good Friday against Jesus himself. You know, Jesus, the all-pure, all-innocent Son of God, uh, the sinless one, you know, who's like us in everything but sin, you know, how he's tried, they try to bring him down. Uh, they see his goodness, and it's as if they are immediately confronted with their own wickedness. Um, you know, and we see this true time and time again in, in the world and all around us, you know, how the presence of good ultimately brings about with it a judgment as well, that seeing goodness in front of us, we're confronted with our own wickedness. Um, points also to that inward reality in the spiritual life, that every time we have a real grace-filled encounter with Christ and His merciful goodness towards us, we're like propelled into a confrontation with our own brokenness. Seeing Him who is all pure, we see all those ways in which our hearts are broken and in which our hearts have been corrupted or even closed up in, uh, in walls of self-defense with our own little defense mechanisms that we all work out. You know, the, the good news is when Jesus comes to us and we're confronted with goodness himself, goodness who takes flesh in the person of Christ, um, that being confronted by him and being brought to that moment of judgment, you know, that we're not left in a place of shame or despair, but that confrontation with goodness that comes with Christ himself ultimately is an invitation, uh, an invitation to a restored communion with him. That by being brought back into right relationship with him, or rather with the Father through him, you know, that we too can be transformed and that his goodness can rub off on us. Uh, so we pray for that grace that in those moments where we, in those grace-filled encounters, encounter Christ, or we're confronted with Christ, we're confronted with goodness, and also confronted with our own brokenness and wickedness. We pray for that grace that our hearts can be opened so that we too can be transformed and that His goodness can rub off on us. We pray for that especially every time we celebrate the Holy Eucharist. You know, the same Jesus, goodness Himself, who becomes for us body, blood, soul, and divinity, truly present in Holy Communion.